Alrighty, guys. How you guys doing this evening? This is the end of Married to Medicine, the reunion part two. This is it. Won't it do it? Won't it do it? Let me whip, whip. Let me nay nay. Let me see you whip, whip. Let me see you nay nay. Let me see you cuss, cuss a motherfucker. We don't have much, much to go off because I got, got to watch Basketball Wives. All right, guys. <laughs> How y'all doing this evening? Yes, yes, yes. We're coming to you guys with Married to Medicine's uh, The Reunion Part 2. We kicks it off with Miss Mariah. Hello, hello, hello. And how you doing? Mariah shows up. And um, they walks her in by herself. She is the Queen Bee, Miss Qua. You didn't get to be the Queen Bee this motherfucking season. You tried, but Mariah showed your motherfucking ass. She still sits on her motherfucking throne. Well, won't she do it? Do it, won't you let me see your whip, whip, let me see you, nine nay Mariah say I'm still, still the queen, bitch. Anyway, Miss Mariah, I ain't finna review this shit like I normally would. Miss Mariah, let's, 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 let's just go down the road. Let's, let's, let's do roll call on these bitches. Miss motherfucking Mariah. Now, I felt, bitch, you could have brought it a little bit stronger i expected for you to motherfucking show up and show out you know why because them bitches as huck say he gonna make the hook come out as you have realized them bitches voted your motherfucking ass out bitch what you let them vote you out of your shit you okay you had a motherfucking miscarriage you say you say you was Pregnant with twins, and you miscarried it four months, um, young lady. You was pissed off and mad. Nobody got with your ass, and come to find out, Toya did reach out to your motherfucking ass, and Qua ended up going over there to check on your ass. So as we show scenes and we play little skits and whatever, whatnot. The moral to the motherfucker story with you, Mariah, are you gonna return? Are we gonna see you next season? Yes, bitch. Yes. You never did answer that question with a straight out no. Because if you wasn't coming back to deal with these hoes, you would have straight said hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell, hell, hell to the no. Not once did you say hell no. So, when you were sitting there and you was just basically saying that these bitches weren't loyal, which we know, these hoes ain't loyal. It, it, the bottom line was, we got nowhere with you, Mariah. And I felt like you could have came and kind of showed out. Man, this is our motherfucking Ratchet TV. For the nighttime, this is my nighttime soap opera. This is where I get my nuts at at night, bitch, because I ain't got no money right now. <laughs> I needed you to bring it, bitch, and you didn't, okay? So moving right along, we're going to move on down to that motherfucking toy, we're not going to call Taggart Toya some motherfucking Taggart because you know what? Toya had a little motherfucking sense tonight, y'all. Toya ended up saying that she was happy, her and Dr. Simone made up. And basically, <clears throat> they revealed on that ass, Taggart Toya, that you is a disrespectful hoe. Okay? You do not know how to treat your motherfucking husband. But this motherfucking Eugene wants to come in and say, I done been with her for eight years and I know how to deal with her. And to sum it all up with you, Miss Toya, no wonder they call you a lesbian. You and Dr. Eugene, y'all bring uh, a third person into y'all sex lives, into y'all bedroom rather you motherfuckers are freaks so are you the one like the women or is dr eugene like an extra pussy nine times out of ten toya 
You like that poo nanny. Go on, girl. Lick, 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 like a lollipop. You can go on and tell us. I knew there was a reason why they was calling you and Miss Mariah uh, lesbians. Maybe you guys have all joined in together. But you know what? You know, I ain't mad. Whatever makes y'all motherfucking boat float. Sell it, motherfucker, okay? I ain't mad at you. And if that's how you got to keep that motherfucker so you can sit at home and then you ain't got to work, bitch, do what you do. Do what you do. Let me see you whip, whip. Let me see you nay nay. And it's motherfucking heavenly. Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Motherfucker want to defend Lisa motherfucking Nicole ass. Dr. Mouth all motherfucking mighty, bitch. But I'm sorry. I'ma call a spade a spade. Jill had your motherfucking ass in the palm of her hands. You better be glad, Dr. Heavenly. Jill is locked up. Or just ain't got no motherfucking money to fool with you hoes. Or better yet, she's somewhere on her back trying to get paid for them motherfucking titties her husband gave her. Now he don't want her motherfucking ass no more. But let me get back to the to the story. Dr. Heavenly, you's a cocky bitch. You act like you motherfucking jealous of Dr. Jackie. And you is a fucking asshole, Dr. Heavenly. I'm sorry. Bitch, you walk around with that motherfucking cup. Because we know your ass be fucking s sipping on some motherfucking gin and juice. Okay? So, bitch, until you sober up, shut the fuck up. Moving right along. Dr. Jackie. The fit is the new it. Okay? I'm sorry your father passed. And, um, you're boring as a motherfucker, Dr. Jackie. I like you, but you is just so boring. You are boring.com, boo. The only interesting thing you had was, and I'm sorry to say was, the part about you and your father. And like I said, my condolences go out to your family, but that sums it up for you, Dr. Jackie. Moving right along. Lisa motherfucking Nicole. Lisa, where the fuck was Darren at? Huh? I, I, you know what? I've been sitting there and I just, every time I look at an episode of Marriage Messing, I just sit there and I look at Darren like this. And I look and I look and I say, you know what? No disrespect. Your husband don't like women. Your husband like men, uh, uh, Lisa. Did uh, Quad pay that uh, motherfucker to come on and lie and say he fucked your husband? Nah, nah. Nah. That bitch probably had a part in it, but no. It's true. You know what's going on with Darren. I was like, this motherfucker just too cute. And if it's too good to be true, you're just too good to be true. Can't turn my, can't take my eyes off of you. You're just too good to be true. Boo. He's just too good to be true. He didn't show up on the reunion because he didn't want you to fuck him up. Because he might have came out the closet. And so what? That's him. And that's it, boo. Lisa, do yourself a favor. Get off of Married to Medicine. Please don't come back next season. This is not for you. It's not for you, Lisa Nicole. It's, it, it just ain't for you. Y'all, let me move right along because I want to see motherfucking basketball wise. I want to see this motherfucking Brandy tail, this motherfucking shiny motherfucking O'Neal. Bitch, you ain't shit. Squad, Miss Squad, Miss Squad, Miss Squad. Bitch, I'm sorry, said Sean Bradley. Squad, you was a motherfucking bitch. You wanted to be the queen motherfucking bee this motherfucking season. Yes, yes, God. Yes, yes. Shade. No shade. And all that motherfucking shit, bitch. Yo, bitch, you look like a motherfucking black L virus sitting there. I'm sorry. You a piece of shit. 
that somebody should have hauled off and whooped your motherfucking ass quad. Because if I was Lisa Nicole, I wouldn't have just scratched your motherfucking cheek and had you sitting there with a motherfucking band-aid on. I would have bust you in your motherfucking eye. I would have gave you a motherfucking two-piece like Camille gave motherfucking fizz on love and hip-hop, bitch. Use a bitch, quad. Use a bitch. You had a bad season because you's a motherfucking bitch. It's called karma. Sorry, quad. Get your motherfucking ass off of there. Last year, last season, I, re I fucked with you. I really did. But this motherfucking season, quad, you was a shit starter. You was... Yeah, that girl husband was all fucked up and he was bisexual and he fucking men. But goddamn, you made that girl life a living motherfucking hell this season. Quad, go sit your motherfucking ass down and get that fat ass, excuse me, y'all, that fat ass motherfucking husband of yours together. Shit, that motherfucker didn't even show up because neither one of them motherfuckers wanted to be a part of that bullshit on this motherfucking reunion. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. And I think the only motherfucker left is Dr. Simone with your anger man manage anger management ass having anger issues having ass. I done got all riled up. Dr. Simone, you used to be my motherfucking favorite. But you need to bring it down a notch. You are out there. Go get you some motherfucking Prozac. Bitch, you on there. You over there practicing on motherfuckers' coochies and shit. And you mad? You might go up in there and take somebody motherfucking ovary, egg, or somebody sperm up out of a motherfucker because you mad because shit ain't going the way you motherfucking want it, Dr. Simone. Relax, bitch. And get your motherfucking ass off of Married to Medicine because y'all done pissed me off this motherfucking season. You know what? I started reviewing y'all asses and y'all started out good. Then y'all flatlined on my motherfucking ass. But tonight, y'all showed me that y'all just ain't shit. I'm sorry. Y'all, forgive me. But this motherfucking reunion was boring. And it wasn't shit. And I didn't learn shit. And all these motherfuckers end up doing shit. Good night, y'all. Have a blessed night. I'll see y'all in the next video. And I'm sorry if they got my motherfucking nerves up. This was a piece of shit-ass reunion to me. Peace.